What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection remastered action figures. So we have the entire wave of the remastered figures, which is pretty cool. They're pretty much just remakes of the figures we've already had. So it's not going to be a whole lot of fun, interesting stuff here, but we do get more accessories, a little bit more accurate details and everything. So it's going to be cool overall. So in the front here, we have the Red Ranger, Pink Ranger, and Blue Ranger. So again, like especially the pink and blue, we're not going to really see much of anything different. We will compare all the figures just so you can see the difference. But like with the Red Ranger, as you see, here he does have the dragon shield and bands on so that's pretty cool and then we get the accessories which I'll show you on the back so you see all the accessories we get here so we get some of this like I guess you'd say lightning effect that can go on the ground you know supposed to be the morphine we get some extra hands so we get some extra in different hands we get pretty much every form of the blade blaster we get their morpher which is really cool so we get the little morpher and then their signature weapon now we usually get an unmasked head as well but for some reason this red ranger did not come with a Jason head for some reason but as you see on the back of the box here it's labeled green no more so it's where he kind of takes over the powers of the dragon sword so he gets the dragon shield so that's just kind of interesting so we'll go through each of these so then pink ranger you know is going to come with all the same stuff like i said she just comes with the unmasked head there so we're going to have pretty much all the exact same accessories you know we get all the same hands pretty much and then the same effects just obviously in the different colors and the morphers and everything so billy looks cool comes with his glasses as well that we get for him so that's the first row and then in the back we have the rest of the rangers so we have the yellow ranger black ranger and green ranger and as you see with him he doesn't have the dragon shield so it's kind of interesting and with that dragon shield from the red range you can move it between any of the rangers you want technically but i'll obviously put it back on the green ranger but we've got yellow ranger so trini and you can see her there with all her accessories then we've got zach so again with all his accessories and then of course we do have like new face sculpts and stuff i do think most of them look pretty good for this like the zach i don't think looked pretty good but all the others do and there we have tommy and then he does come with the green candle as well that of course runs out of his power so pretty cool to have all those i like that we can switch the shield between the rangers and like i said i'll definitely be putting on the green ranger but i guess they decided to include it with the red you know more for that specific storyline and since they didn't include jason's head for some reason so i guess they decide just to move that extra accessory over to kind of even it out but i think these all look cool i really like them so i'm excited to check them out i just obviously we've had all these rangers before so it's not going to be too exciting but let me go and get them open out of the box and we'll take a look at them all together so here are the six rangers out of the box and all look pretty cool. So I left them exactly how they came out of the box. So they have the unhelmeted heads. So you can see all their heads. I think they all look pretty decent. Like most of them look pretty good and pretty similar. Like I think Kimbler is pretty good. This Billy is definitely the best Billy, especially with those glasses he comes with. And of course, we'll see all these up closer. Tommy's okay. He's still not the best, but you know, you can tell it's supposed to be Tommy. Trini looks pretty decent. Zach, again, you can tell it's him, but I don't think it's very good at all. And then as I mentioned, we don't get any head for Jason unfortunately so he's gonna stay helmeted but as i said we get the dragon shield with him instead of tommy but we can reverse that and i'll show you how to do all that but since we have all these figures most of them are going to be the same as we've had in the past especially more recent rangers so some of their joints are updated so the females have the double elbow joints and then all of them have like the drop down sort of hips so those are all going to be the same so we're going to take a look at one male and one female figure and then they'll be the same for the others and then we'll go through each figure and look at their accessories you know put their helmets on them and everything so we'll just take a look at each one and we'll start with the red ranger first so as usual it looks you know just like the red ranger nothing too special or different about it besides having the dragon shield on of course these are the upgraded ones so we will compare them so i do have the original red ranger here so you can see the difference so the body's you know relatively going to be the same obviously with all these they have like improved morphers at least i would say improved morphers and then have the black lines painted on the belt or the older one they were all white same with the holster there but then the rest of it is going to be you know relatively the same just minor differences you know maybe some small color changes but everything Everything else about them is pretty much going to be the same but the biggest difference like these specifically is going to be the helmet design so you can see the difference in the helmets from the side they don't look too much but there is a bit of a difference with the way the helmets design on this older red ranger it's much like skinnier and taller where this one's like shorter and rounder but i do like this design because i think it looks so much better but there you can just see the comparison of the helmet so those are really going to be probably like if anything the biggest difference between the two and then just the different body joints and everything but as we go through i'll show you each of those different comparisons but starting with the red ranger of course get his helmet that can twist around now these dudes all have so have the necks that spin so you can see his lower neck is sort of spinning there the white section does spin around so unfortunately there's some design to it that you can like get twisted around and stuff so if you want to have a certain way you'll have to get that adjusted but then can look down that far and up that far so just a little bit of rocking back and forth which is decent then we get the shoulders that can come up to 90 there and it has the butterfly joint that can go back and forth and rotate around of course we get a bicep 
twist and the double elbow joint that bends up that far, which isn't bad. Wrist will twist around. Now these hands have a hinge up and down, so we'll get different hands with the Rangers. So hinge up and down for the grip hand there. And then we have the upright crunch, so can crunch back and forth and twist all the way around. And then we do have the lower crunch cut out just above the waist there, and it looks like his belt sort of twisted around. But he can crunch forward and crunch back with that, so even further forward and back and forth there. So pretty good with that crunch. The hips can come up to 90 and out to the side. Again, they're drop down hips, so you just gotta push them back up in there to get it back to normal. Thigh twist all the way around, and the double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back. So not too bad for him, maybe a little bit more, but feels like the lower joint is a little bit stiff on this. Then we get the shin twist at the top of the boot, and the foot will flex back and forth and twist side to side. Now I will point out with the Range Ranger especially, now I don't know if you'll notice it on the camera or not, but like his knees especially are much darker than the rest of the body. So the knees and the elbows sort of stand out on this figure because they're much darker like material whatever compared to the rest of the body. So like I said, I hope it comes through on the camera, but yeah, it's just definitely much darker in color. So it looks a little bit weird with the Red Ranger, unfortunately. He's like the worst. I don't really notice it on any of the others. So that's just one issue you have to deal with with the Red Ranger. But overall body wise, you know, it works out. Like I said, it's just like all the other Rangers we've had especially more recently when they've sort of switched to the drop down hips and the male especially you know works out just about the same as all the others now for him we'll do his accessories and pretty much going to be the same accessories for each ranger so we'll just see the same things over and over again so he comes with a set of fist hands i'm not sure if every ranger comes with the exact i wouldn't be surprised at all if they come with two grip hands and then like this you get a set of fist hands to go along with them so just some fists and then i know they all come with hands for morphine so we get a hand to hold the morpher which i'll show you here in a second so it's just kind of design weird and then a hand to go on top of it so you can hold the morpher and do like the little pose thing which I don't know what the figure I may have to try is to try and get them in the pose I feel their hands wouldn't be able to go in those positions but we'll just have to see we also get the blade blaster so we get all three forms of the blade blaster so we have it all folded up that can go into the holster so we'll just go and stick them in on each one so we have the holster version there and then we also have the gun version so in gun mode and I like how there is an opening so if you want to take an effect if you had any effects you could stick in it and then we also have in the blade mode as well so for the blade blaster it kind of makes sense with a blade and blaster so again we'll get these with every single ranger so we'll see that with each one as well and then more specifically for each ranger we get their special weapon so for him we have the power sword which looks really good and a lot of these look identical to their role play version so the power sword and this is it looks pretty much identical to this so pretty fun that they did that but with this we can obviously take and put it into his hands so there the red ranger has his sword they each come with their own morpher so morpher they can hold in hands now it's going to be small maybe I can zoom in here I don't know if I can even get it to zoom in to show you there you can see the morpher so you can see the little t-rex coin in the middle there in gold and so the morpher is open so it has the color inside so for him it's got red which you know just looks like red of the morpher around it so you can't see but as we'll go through you'll see some of the different variations and it's just a little morpher and then especially with that you can take the hand that came with it and you can like clip it on the hand there and then they can hold it and then with that other hand you can put it on top so it's like they're doing their morphine sequence so of course to like have this it'd be nice to have them in civilian clothes and then do this and then you know, transform into the power rangers but it is cool that they include it at least like i'm not going to be using it for anything but it is cool that it's included and the final accessories we get these effects for them as well that you just kind of sit on the ground they're just these like lightning effects but with the different colors of the rangers so for this instance the red ranger so again you can't really see it too well here but you can just sit around so it's like they're doing the morphine so holding the morpher and having that is when they're transforming or morphine from their civilians into the ranger outfits so it's just a cool effect again nothing i'm going to use for anything but it's just a cool effect like if you had more room on a shelf you could pose the power rangers and then sit these around them so just these lightning effects and again they're all going to be in the exact same shape just different colors that match with each of the rangers so with all the others we'll then have to switch their helmeted heads but as i said with this one we don't get an unmasked jason head so we just have the helmet head already on it but he does have the dragon shield as i mentioned so we'll have to take that off so we can put it on tommy when we get to him. So on the back of the shield there are these little button things you can just undo to get it undone and you can see there are some up here. So the ones up top allow you to put it on a female. So if say we want to take Kimberly and put it on her and we'd have to button it all the way up there just to you know tighten it up on her to sit properly. But for all the males we'll just have to leave it down at the bottom. So with that we can just undo it, pop his head off and then also take the sleeves off his arms so they're just little rubbery things that slide down that we can take off his arms as well. So let me get him to a normal Red Ranger. 
So there's the normal Red Ranger. And again, we can put these on Tommy once we hit him. And as I mentioned, though, we can't actually put these on any of the Rangers if we want to. So that is pretty cool. It's designed this way to easily come off. And you can easily put it on any of the Rangers that you want. So that's going to be it pretty much for the Red Ranger. Again, we're going to see a lot of the exact same accessories with all the different Rangers. But now let's go and look at Kimberly. So we'll see the female form of the body. So Kimberly looks pretty good. Like I said, face-wise, it is pretty decent. Like I think, especially like from the science stuff, it looks like Kimberly. Straight on, I feel it's a little bit too weird like around the eye seems a little bit off for her but otherwise you can still tell it's Kimberly she has the longer hair there that has the pink headband on which is cool with like a little poof of hair in the front so looks pretty good looks a lot like Amy Jo Johnson like I said not perfect but still a lot better than it was before and then she's just in the all pink outfit again has the updated bell so you can see the pterodactyl power coin again the black lines on the bell and the holster and then everything else looks you know relatively just the same like I said the only real update is that's going to have the double elbow joints there on her but overall the rest of it does look pretty decent for comparison here is that older figure so you can see first off right away i can notice again i don't know if the camera will notice the new one is actually much more pink where this one kind of has like a purple color especially like in the midsection so the color seems a little bit off and then of course just the updated body like with the belt and the double elbows but everything else is going to be relatively the same of course we'll have to compare the helmets when i get it switched out for that so we'll have to see how it compares but everything else looks you know much better with this version but we'll do the movements so the head will twist all the way around a little bit hard with her hair design but obviously if we switch to a helmet it's going to be pretty good and then just a little bit of rocking back and forth and again probably the helmet will have a little bit better movement probably not much though the shoulders can come up to 90 with the butterfly joint so good range there on them and can twist all the way around then we get a bicep twist and that double elbow joint that can bend up that far so pretty much as far as it'll go all the way up on itself now the females do also have a forearm twist so right at the top of their glove they do twist around their wrist will twist around and flex back and forth so an up and down hinge again then we get the ab crunch so crunch right under the chest so crunch a little bit just back and forth tiny bit but can twist all the way around and then we get the lower hinge there right at the belt line so crunch back and forth there pretty good then we go to the hips now for i don't know if it's just her specifically or both females will have it but it's hard to get her hips up like i know the skirt in the way but just even moving out of the way it just doesn't seem to want to go up but you can get up close to 90 there it just doesn't seem to stick very far and then can go out the side you know pretty close to doing the splits but again has those drop down hits you gotta push back up in then we get the thigh twist all the way around the double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back the shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot will flex back and forth and twist side to side so besides the hips pretty good range on her so no issues with that so again that's going to be same with all the female bodies we've seen recently and the same for her and Trini. But it's still a good riff figure. And like I said, especially with the color and stuff, it looks pretty good. Now her all her colors match, so the knees are match exactly with the elbows and the rest of the body. So unlike the Red Ranger, and like I said, all the other Rangers will match pretty well. So pretty good for Kimberly overall. Now accessory wise, of course, we're gonna get that helmeted head. So I definitely want the helmet on. So we're gonna switch to all the helmets. So there she is with the helmet. I think that looks pretty good. Now a lot of the females more recently, like the seems like they have really long necks, but these seem to sit perfectly like I feel exactly where they should. So that looks good. And we'll bring that older one back for comparison. So obviously the newer one is much more shinier. I do think I kind of like the matte more. But other than that, they look relatively the same design wise. I don't really see much difference. Just, you know, brighter green on the eyes for the pterodactyl there. And then the visor is more shiny as well. You can see that nice reflection where they're just kind of a blur. But yeah, otherwise, it seems relatively the same. Like I said, just the shininess is about the only thing that seems really different between the two. So no major issues. But like I said, I do like the matte pink a little bit more. But having the shiny isn't bad at all either. Then accessory wise, we get the additional hand. So she comes with a flat palm hand this time. So maybe do like a karate chopper to pose and a fist hand so she has those so a little bit different for her then we get the morphing hands as well so the hand to hold the morpher and then the hand to go on top of the morpher speaking of the morpher we have her morpher here again with the pterodactyl i think yeah it's upside down there and here you can kind of see it's a little bit hard but you can see there's pink on the side and around the center so it does have some of like the lightning type effect that has the color that matches so it looks pretty cool for the morpher there then we of course get the blade blaster again in all three forms we'll have that with each one we get the lightning effect effect that goes around them or the morphine effect whatever so again hers in pink this time and finally we get the power bow with the arrow so 
looks pretty good. You know, it looks like the same power bow we've had before. So it looks pretty good. So let's put her in pose with this. So there's Kimberly again, not posed perfectly with the bow and arrow, but I did pretty good with those double elbows and the butterfly joint. She does get posed pretty well. So much better than that last one could. So pretty good overall for her. So the pink ranger looks pretty awesome. And again, body wise and everything will be the same as Trini. So we won't have to do that again, but there we've got the pink ranger. So let's kind of just go in order here how I have them. So we'll do Billy next, which again, like I said, face wise, this Billy definitely looks the best. I definitely think he has like the best design. Looks like David Yost the most than some of the other half, especially for him. His is usually the worst. So overall looks pretty good. Love the glasses as well. You can take them off if you want. So they just sort of clip on the side. So an extra accessory. So there you can have like later seasons version of Billy where he didn't wear the glasses or like early seasons when he had the glasses and they sit on pretty nice. They just kind of go around the ear and sit on there. So it works out pretty well. So like I said, definitely the best version of Billy. Still not 100% perfect, but still the best version of Billy we've had. Now, outfit wise, looks pretty good. You know, it just looks like the Blue Ranger with the updated belt, but everything else about him is going to look pretty much the same. And once I get the head switched out, we'll do the comparisons. So, speaking of, we get the helmeted head, so we'll switch that out. So, there's Billy with the helmet, and then we can compare the bodies. So, you can see again, very little change in the blue. Looks like the white diamonds are actually a little bit closer together and more like pointed, where these seem a little bit fatter on the older ones. And again, you can see just the generic type of like body that they changed. The white's definitely much more white. We're on these older ones, even though, you know, I haven't done anything with them. I don't know if they just have came like that and never noticed or if it's changed over time, but the whites are more like yellowing and stuff, which is kind of weird. So like I said, I haven't done anything to cause them the yellow, but these new ones are clean and white. So it looks pretty nice. Again, the updated belts where you can see the morpher much more clearly with the power coin. So the Triceratops power coin looks good there. And then we have the helmet. So relatively not much different. It looks like this new one is much more of the taller oblong, kind of like the old Jason ones where this one's much more rounded and so it kind of looks a little funny now compared to them but looks pretty good overall you can see there are just some minor changes with the helmet design especially with the horn seem more protruding on this older one but definitely good looking updated sculpt and accessory wise we get the extra hands so we get a fist hand set for him we get the morphing hands with the grip hand and the hand that sits on top we get the morpher so it looks pretty good there you can see the blue around it now I'm ones like these I'm not too excited about that they have the blue around them like where it has the colors like kind of store stand out like the blue here I don't like it as much but it's cool just having the open morpher where you can see like that lightning effect but like I said just on colors like this I don't like it as much to go along with it we do also have the blue lightning effects there we get the three forms of the blade blaster and then we get the power lance so we have the power lance which looks nice again looks just like the role play item they have so pretty similar design overall so there we have it in the staff form or the lance form and then we have the separated form so we can form the power blaster if we want since the bow does have the clips on it and we have all the weapons so you can have it in the separated form if you want there as well but let's go and just put it in his hand with the lance form so there's billy with the power lance and again another awesome upgraded design so definitely looks really cool and love this blue ranger I think next up we'll go ahead and do Trini and leave Tommy for last so we can put that dragon shield on. So we have got Trini here. Looks pretty good overall face wise. Like I said, you know, still not exact, but still pretty decent. And then the rest of the body is going to be relatively the same. So first we get the helmeted head. So again, we'll switch that out. So there she is with the saber tooth helmet, which looks good. And comparison here is the old one. So obviously it has the upgraded joints from the single elbow to the double elbow. Of course, the painted belt where you can see the saber tooth tiger power queen on there really good and everything else like said it's going to be relatively the same just the newer upgraded body helmets look relatively the same again the older one looks much more rounded and it's kind of weird how this one has like sad eyes like it could be crying or somewhere this one's much more open but overall not too bad you can see there's a difference with the fangs so again just slight differences between the two but this one does look pretty good as with all the others we get extra hands so for her we get just like Kimberly we get a fist hand and a karate chop hand then we also get the hands of course for holding the morpher and for her morpher we can see it there with the yellow around so again the yellow lightning around the saber tooth power coin so it looks decent we get the three versions of the blade blaster the yellow lightning effect to go around her and then of course the two power daggers that again look just like the role play items so let's go and give these to her so there Trini has the power daggers now and looks pretty good overall so she looks awesome there then of course we'll switch her out for Zach so Zach's unhelmeted head to me was the like second worst compared to Tommy like I said it's not absolutely horrible but I still don't think it looks like Walter Jones very much so I think they could have done a little bit better but I do like how he's got the like high top hair I just think that looks pretty good like just how high it is and overall looks pretty decent and then the rest of the body of course 
is going to look decent as well. But let's go and switch out for the helmeted head. So there's the helmet on Zach, and we can bring in that older one. Again, just noticing on this one, like a lot of the white has all yellowed, but we get the updated belt, so much nicer colors, and then helmet design there as well. Not going to be too much different. It looks like it's almost like shrunk down a little bit, but nicer design with the white there around the helmet compared to the silver, so the white just stands out a little bit more. So not much different between the two, just minor differences once again. And overall, it's going to be relatively the same, just very different with that new body, but it looks pretty good, especially all the white on this one. We get the extra hands, so we get the fist hands, and again, the morpher hands. We get the Morpher, so it looks pretty good. Now, for the Black Ranger, instead of using black, they use purple, or in this sense, it almost looks like pink as well for the lightning behind it, but still looks good with the Mastodon power coin. And then for the lightning effect, we get a purplish color effect, which again, I think looks pretty cool since they can't really do black. I think the purple looks cool. We get the three forms of the Blade Blaster. And finally, we get his power axe, so it looks pretty good there with the black and yellow design with the Mastodon on there. So it looks pretty cool overall, so we can put in the gun form or the axe form. I think I'll do the axe for now and there Zach has the power axe which looks pretty cool and again with all those now we can combine them together and do the power blaster I'm not going to you've probably seen that multiple times especially with the older versions but just know you can do that again with these as well so Zach looks awesome there and of course that lends up with Tommy as our last ranger so Tommy like I said is definitely the worst face wise I don't think it looks like Jason David Frank there at all like the hair sort of goes off pretty well I love how he has the like little earring in and stuff and again from the side I think it looks pretty decent just from straight on it looks a little bit off like his nose looks really big or something weird with his mouth so not exactly perfect on that so like I said definitely the worst out of all these new ones but overall looks pretty good you know with the Green Ranger outfit so it's nice to see him without the dragon shield just because you can see more of it so you can see he has the diamonds on his chest just like the other Rangers but he's got the different gloves with the gold at the top of him of course the new belt and I love how it's got the gold morpher on him so it's nice to stand out of course the holster for the dragon dagger and the gold bands around the top of his boots as well so it just stands out a little bit so of course we can take the dragon dagger and the little armbands and stuff and put them on him so we can make him look more like the normal green ranger so there's the dragon shield and bands on him and since you have to take that off i went ahead and switched for the helmet head so that looks pretty good so it looks good with the dragon shield and those armbands as well so it makes it look much more complete and like the real green ranger and then we can compare it to that older figure so there you can see so definitely the helmet looks much better right away and then you can see they redid the dragon shield design i think it looks pretty cool i love how you can remove it easily and stuff with this newer one and the armbands of course so they're molded on this other one so I love the more gold colors and then like I said that you can switch out like I said the helmet looks much better on this newer one compared to the old one the green looks much better it's a brighter green compared to this like darker green and then of course the updated belt design and everything else that looks relatively the same and again the white on these older ones for some reason have like a yellowish color to them so I'm not sure like I said if it's something with like being out in the air or if it's just the way that it was designed it had that yellow tint to it but like I said definitely these all look good with the nice bright white on them. Now accessory wise we get the extra fist hand so we get the fist as well as the morphine hand so the same grip and hand over the top but he does also come with a hand for playing the dragon dagger so more like playing the flute design so we do get that for the right hand as well. We get his morpher as well so you can see in the background the nice green lightning there with the dragon sword power coin and again the gold morpher so that sort of stands out from all the others. We get the three forms of the blade blaster and then of course we also get the dragon dagger itself so we can put that into the holster or we'll just go and stick it in his hand for now. So there he's got the dragon dagger. Of course he has the green lightning so the green looks really nice in this sort of see-through lightning so again you put that around him. And then the final accessory comes with is the green candle so this was a part of the storyline with the green no more that the box showed but this candle sort of controls his power so when it burns out he loses his powers which I believe happens in that episode and so that's when he gives his power over to Jason and Jason can put on the dragon shield and control the dragon sword and everything so that's why it was on him so pretty cool it came with it of course it's a little bit up from being in the box but it's just a nice thing with the gold base and the green candle up top you can see the little yellow flame and everything there so just a fun accessory not necessary but I guess they just decide to include it since they put the dragon shield with the red ranger and everything so they decide just to include that with here so pretty cool that they did but that now finishes off our team so we now have all six rangers fully morphed so there's all six of our remastered rangers together and all look pretty cool so this is definitely going to be my definitive team on the shelf because all the helmets look the best all the bodies are the best and to me they just look absolutely perfect in the way they are obviously there could probably could be stuff to make them even more better more realistic more exactly identical to how they appeared in like the show but i think they look pretty awesome like this so i really love having these remastered just to sort of finish off mighty morphin with the ultimate version of the team so like i said it'll now cap off the shelf with them being done and i won't have to worry 
worry about them anymore for sure. But let me know what you thought of the remastered Rangers down in the comment. Did you pick them up or do you think they're just a waste of money just for getting Rangers you already have again? Just let me know in the comments. But if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. And I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.